All right, guys, so welcome back. Yesterday was a pretty, pretty crazy day. A lot of new games being announced and a lot of really big games coming back into the surface. For instance, Halo Infinite. They just revealed or they just released a 10 plus minute video of the multiplayer overview as far as like post launch content. I haven't seen it yet. I just downloaded the video because a lot of people on Twitter were saying that it looks like it's going to be massive. So they're going to be talking about maps, customization, DLCs, etc. I, I really want there to be an ecosystem of gaming, multiplayer online gaming, where we have like not just one big game at the same time, where we can have three games at the same time. And I'll tell you why. If we have Call of Duty, Battlefield, and Halo, these developing teams, all these studios are going to feel challenged, not threatened, maybe a little bit, but challenged. And at the end of the day, the people that end up winning is us, the gamers. And on, you know, on top of that, I would really, really like to see Halo make a massive comeback just because it's Halo. If you were around when Halo was like the baby of it all, it's uh, you, you have to be a fan of this game and you would want to probably see this game thrive again. Because if Halo is done well, it is going to be possibly one of the most fun games uh, that we can possibly play online because it could be very fun if it's well executed. So I have high hopes. We're going to take a look at this video again it's like 10 plus minutes or so they're going to be talking a lot about the multiplayer the overview in general so i'm really excited and um let me know in the comments if you guys are fans of halo or if you've never played it and uh, without further ado let's check it out all right let's go it's like 12 minutes holy cow just the feeling of like being in a firefight and hearing the, the click of the gun, throwing it down, grabbing one off the wall. So my gunner's upside down and he's like laying in. I see kill assist, kill assist, kill assist. Any pistol across any of the games. Whatever gun allows me to feel the most like John Wick, I am there. And remember how excited I was with like this big combat with vehicles going all over the place. Halo means something different for everyone, right? I think that that's what makes Halo great. Dude. I really want this game to succeed, man. Supposedly, they're what also going to talk about Halo battle pass. multiplayer. And for me, we'll it see. boils down to this tight arena style combat and big team battle, this wide open, vehicle infused uh, kind of combat. We're taking that awesome legacy or classic Halo combat experience and modernizing it in ways that'll feel fresh to old players and really exciting to new players. We're gonna give you great ways to customize your Spartan, really make your super soldier your own, and we're kicking off a journey, an experience that's gonna evolve month to month, season oh. to season, year after year. <laughs> Let's go. For me, working through oh, this multiplayer that's a battle this game, pass. the toughest challenge Updates. I think is really about how do we respect the legacy of what came before us, but still build something that feels new. We've tried to bring all these elements of legacy and really inject them into Halo Infinite, not just like in a, in a in a way where you kind of won't notice it, where you feel like, oh, they really designed this to be a celebration of previous Halo, as well as an iteration of where Halo can go next. The vision of Arena was all about a tight experience. It was all about being fair. Damn. It was all about earning everything on the map, earning everything, every kill you get. Going back to like, what is the core yes, foundation yes. of what made the great Halo multiplayer good, arena matches great? Halo, it's really about fair and balanced starts. So everybody's on equal footing when they come off the rip. And then once they start running around, it's about scavenging. It's about finding new toys and, and kind of Hell yeah. developing your play style as you run through the match. What makes and Halo every map like is Halo? different? I um, love it. I feel like uh, the answer to that question is is the sandbox. Like the sandbox is Halo. When we set out to look at Halo Infinite from a high level and the direction of what it is, there's lots of exciting things there because we really wanted to push what are the things that are true to Halo, but what are the things that fans haven't seen yet? Equipment Fucking is back, hell. but equipment is kind of has the has a has a bigger voice than ever before. We ask questions to ourselves of. Uh, if you could go after, you know, a power weapon to get a bunch of kills, uh, would you do that? Or could you go and get grapple to make sure that you swing yourself Yo, to the other side of the map the to back fuck? cap Let's a stronghold? Go. We saw it as like another avenue of not just skill expression, but tactics for teams to coordinate around. The exciting combinatory nature of 
you know, this oh, toy plus dude, this toy so and how good. those interact with objectives is super amazing. Looking at how the power-ups play, like your classic <laughs> power-ups, like the overshield and the active camouflage. For this title, what that. we're looking at, what we're excited for, is you pick that up and you choose when you activate it. It goes into your inventory. If you haven't used it, and someone kills you in multiplayer, you drop that overshield, and then they could take it, use it for themselves. That to me is very legacy, but we took the equipment side of it and modernized it. When it comes to the vehicles, we Dude. went in and decided to invest a lot in the, the systems. When I take damage in my warthog, uh, my, my wheels can get blown off, my hood could get blown off. There's different aspects Dude, of the, the vehicle fuck? that change how <laughs> my vehicle handles now. I don't and remember that being a new. thing. The other thing we added to that is like this doomsday mechanic. So when you hit this threshold, the vehicle catches fire and it's very much, you've got a certain amount of health or a certain amount of time, and you gotta choose what you wanna do with the last minutes uh, of this vehicle. Now. We've got wow. a cousin to the Warthog, which is the Razorback. The back has this like multi-storage compartment that you can put a lot of stuff into. So if you want to put like detached turrets, power weapons, fusion no coils, objectives, and that is what's really making uh, the Razorback kick a lot of butt in MP and campaign. The levels wow. define pace for the game, how frantic it is, and they define that iconic fantasy for players as they're entering that match. What do they want to do? Um, what type of experience are they hoping to have? What kind of combat, what kind of dance floor is there available to have that combat in? Dude, I like that map too. That map looks really sweet. For me, BTV is all about experiencing uh, the full extent of the sandbox of Halo in just one match, right? Like you see the vehicles, the weapons, the equipment. We really wanted to take that kind of concept, those feels you had, you know, playing the, play, playing the previous games and just turn the volume up. Vehicles are no longer just spawning at bases anymore. We have pelicans delivering them, and we have a commander oh. in your ear telling you oh. that pelicans are going to be dropping off these vehicles. Scorpion tank is inbound. We have oh. Halo 2 style Delta Halo mission weapon pods that fall from the sky to resupply the field. That's where it makes it feel like, like a real battlefield, and, and it's very exciting. This is not just more players, this is just this certain beautiful slice of sci fi chaos. The announcer Very is your big gameplay moments, your game modes, just like the way it was before. Play. Catch. Personal AI is really a reflection and information yes. for the player. Personal AI. Designation so if a player grabs a flag, your personal AI is gonna tell you to you know get that thing back to base and give you some like moment to moment updates. Our team took the enemy flag. What if we can let players choose their own AI and each one of those are different voices so that players That's can find cool. the one that fits their personality That's and their cool. mood the best? They they add to the sense of like me as a, as a Spartan being more important and, and for us and in multiplayer it is really about wow. becoming a Spartan, your Spartan. You are you inside of the Halo universe. The body of customization cool. content that we have on day one ensures that there will be millions of customization combinations for Spartans on the battlefield. That includes things like armor coatings, uh, armor emblems, various armor effects, down to the individual armor pieces. So your shoulders, your gloves, your knee pads, your helmet, your visor, your helmet attachments. Then you look at weapons and we've got wow. a whole slew of customization offerings there. Vehicles have a, have a huge pool of customizations oh too. God. We support customization in the game. Players can do the same thing on halowaypoint.com as no well as way. the Halo Waypoint Let's go. app. The player also customizes the Spartan, the soldier inside the suit. We want the Spartan to represent the player as much as possible. They can change their body type and their voice, as well as choose prosthetics for the first time. Coatings offer oh, us a unique cool. opportunity to craft some hyper-polished looks and let you express yourselves in ways you've never been able to before. So we're coming at this from a player first mentality. So what that means is that there's no random loot in this. There's no loot boxes. It's very important to us that everyone understands exactly how they unlock customization content. And we have a variety of places where they can do that. First off is the battle pass. The Halo battle pass will never be taken away from you. And what I mean by that is once you buy it, it's yours and does not expire. In future seasons, you can purchase old battle passes as well as the current battle pass and choose which battle pass to put your progression towards. 
All of these rewards are single source, so you're never gonna be confused about where things come from. If you can unlock something in the battle pass, we're not gonna let any other players circumvent that by purchasing it out of the storefront. A lot of our stuff is unlocked through playing the game and only through playing the game. All customization is just cosmetic. Every season will have its own theme and introduce new components, new looks, new Dude. gameplay for players, new opportunities to earn and collect cool rewards. We've seen the, the samurai yes. already. That's cool. one of our event <laughs> armor cores. And that's gonna be something that players can earn through gameplay oh for free. That is so With us going free sick. to play for the multiplayer part of the game, like that was a big goal because, you know, how do we have a way we can always bring players in, right? And they can, when we have a new update there, there's, They'll just dip their toes in if they even just want to see it. Not only are we free to play, but we're free to play on PC as well as console. And what that wow, means is dude. we're able to get the biggest audience we've ever had. I mean, everybody gets to play with no barriers. And even better, your progression carries from one platform to the next. Getting our game to be on PC and console at the same time is an amazing chance for us to really just kind of excite new players about the game. How can we do things like make cross-play interesting and like even in just customs being able to just play with your friends that like some people have pcs and some people have consoles and like let them talk to each other let them be friends dude hell yeah why are you here this multiplayer really the does look Spartan. huge the academy is a place that you can go oh. uh, with an mp to kind of onboard into the experience it's great for newer players who are still picking up the controls and also people who want to warm up before they head into matchmaking it's a series of experiences both a tutorial to get started for the first time nice. weapon drills to practice with specific items and also training mode that you can use to just get warm explore the game as you want to for players wow. who are new to halo let's help them learn what this universe is about some of these characters what what are they about and help them kind of know the vocabulary that people have been speaking for now almost 20 years so that we, when they come in there, they don't feel like they're behind everyone else. They can kind of come in on an even footing. I mean, I'm super jazzed about bots. I think they're awesome. Our goal with bots has been to have oh, go, a variety dude. of difficulties that kind of provide oh, a good man. training partner for wherever you're at in the experience. Partnering with our players on the road to launch and after launches absolutely critical, right? I mean, Halo's always been about the community conversation. We want to make sure we hear our players, make changes where we can based on that feedback, make sure the game is ready for launch, and then even beyond launch. What I'm genuinely excited about is taking the game out of our hands and putting it into the community's hands. You know, whether it's seeing what people make in Forge or the content that they're able to create with theater, watching streamers go after oh, the wow. game. To get involved, you go Fuck. to haloinsider.com, put Theater? in your info with your gamer tag, and we should be able to reach out to you if we want to invite you to a Halo Infinite flight. We feel like we've got a pretty good selection at launch and what's going to be there for our fans. And this isn't going to be something that is just a static set of items. We have some new stuff in the works already, and just can't wait to really get into that. Oh as my God, soon as what the out. fuck? New maps, new <laughs> modes, new ways to customize your Spartan launches just the beginning. Now we're just gonna be able to talk, interact more frequently, and that's just gonna be great. That is the future of Halo Infinite multiplayer. Thank you to the community for all their feedback over the years so far, and uh, I'm looking forward to the road to launch, launch itself, and beyond. Dude, that looks phenomenal. There is so much. There is so much in that multiplayer. That was actually a, a very, very complex overview video. Is that the end of it? I think it is. I am so excited for this game, dude. And you know, the more that I think about it, Holiday 2021 is still expected to release at the end of the year this year, which is absolutely awesome. This year has gone from like, again, if my voice is a little cracking here and there, I was screaming like, I was screaming like crazy the other day, but... Um, this year as far as gaming has gone literally from like super stale to it looks like it's gonna end off being a really good game or a really good year for games i kind of see the halo infinite title make a little bit more sense now maybe it's like halo infinite and then they'll just use this game to just build you know obviously not the campaign but the multiplayer it'll just be kind of like the game the base game and then throughout the years it'll just build from here on out that could be a thing you know, it all obviously depends on how the campaign ends 
if it's kind of like one of those campaigns where there's going to be a sequel to it or not uh, but the title makes a whole lot of sense if you look at it as far as like multiplayer uh the multiplayer perspective um it, it, it really does feel like like a fortnite you have fortnite and it just keeps going every year and year and year seasons after seasons after seasons and it's never ending so the title makes sense i don't know if that was the the intention behind it but it makes a lot of sense now i love that we have a battle pass i love that there is no like pay to win or a lot of loot boxes and stuff like that everything could be done through the game i really like how you can go back to old battle passes a lot of times if you play all day if you're a content creator you have the time to do that sometimes if you're a game specific channel but if you work you don't have time to complete these battle passes so you can actually go back and choose which battle pass you want to progress in which is really really cool it's awesome bro cross platform across pc um and console which is fantastic man that was a freaking good video and i'm, I'm kind of glad that i took the chance and downloaded it and kind of reacted it to uh with you guys here on the channel so let me know in the comments what do you guys think is halo something you're gonna be playing again if you've played it and if you haven't played it let me know in the comments i cannot wait and i cannot believe that we have a new halo game literally just a handful of months away it is a good time be a gamer. I love video games and thank you for watching. Catch you later.